Hi there, welcome to Two Birds, I'm Fiona and today's class I am shooting from the beautiful Wilson's Promontory National Park and I'm going to lead you through a 60 minute playful balancing vinyasa flow class uh, which is very good for improving your coordination as well as your balance and it's also very good for focus, instilling calm and improving your concentration. I hope you enjoy, thank you so much for joining me here. Namaste. Begin your practice coming to the back of your mat into a child's pose. Taking the knees out wide to the side, allowing the big toes to touch. And walking your hands forward, your torso forward between your thighs. Resting your forehead down. And taking a few quiet breaths as you begin. Inviting your breath into the back of your lungs. Feeling an expansion between your ribs and shoulder blades as your breath moves in. And softening your belly between your thighs as you empty your lungs. And taking five more smooth breaths in and out. And creeping your fingertips forward a little further Taking your left hand to the midline of your mat to set up for a twist. Lifting the torso up and threading your right arm underneath the left arm to come down on your right shoulder, perhaps your right side cheek. Feeling the light stretch of your skin from your spine toward your right shoulder. Continue to breathe a deep breath, establishing your rhythm and a cadence for your practice. And one more deep breath in. And as you exhale, switch over to the opposite side. Left arm threads under. Raising the hips any amount if it makes it more accessible, more easeful for you in this twist. And settle in for a couple of breaths. Deep breath in. And exhale, release. We're going to come up onto all fours here into a tabletop. Taking the hands underneath the shoulders and separating the knees underneath the hips. Breathing in, gently arching the spine. Send your gaze forward so your throat opens. And as you breathe out, chin nods in toward your chest, diving the spine toward the ceiling. And taking two more rounds, just like that, moving with the rhythm of your breath. As you feel yourself breathe out, send your buttocks to your heels, child's pose. And then glide up onto all fours, gently arching the spine, softening the belly, rounding the spine as you breathe out, buttocks to your heels. All fours breathe in, gently arching. Balasana, child's pose, breathing out, keeping a long extension through your arms. Rising up onto all fours with your in-breath. Shoulders just over the wrist there and extend your right toes to the back edge of your mat. And just gently rock your weight forward and back. 
sensing your shoulders moving ahead and behind your wrists as you warm the wrists and then rock your way back to centre raise your right leg to the height of your hip and then just gently arch your spine so you're just feeding your chest forward and then as you breathe out set the right toes down hug your left knee in toward your chest we'll alternate between the two left knee down right leg lifts gentle arch right toes down right leg engage left knee in and up toward your chest once more just like that hollowing the belly doming your spine and then setting both knees down to the floor switch sides left leg extends out straight spreading all your fingers make full contact with the mat as you rock forward and back lightly stretching into the heel of your left foot and then raising your left leg as you come back to center take an arch through the spine looking up and then left toes down right knee in toward your chest twice more in your own time just move with an unhurried pace warming up the shoulders the hips your wrists and when you feel ready stepping out into a plank pose just here for a beat nice and strong through the abdominal core lightly squeezing your glutes together thighs engaged heels reaching back light bend in the knees and the hips up and back downward facing dog you can keep a little bend in the knees here or pedal out through your heels sway the hips find some movement that feels good in your body as you start to warm up and settle into stillness and take two deep breaths breathing out like bend in the knees look forward between your thumbs and lightly walk yourself there to the top edge of your mat bring your feet to touch when you arrive take a halfway lift hands can slide up to the shins flat back straight legs and then big bend in the knees forward fold rising to stand sweep your arms out and then overhead gaze up and exhale hands to your heart center it's pausing for a moment finding your even balance spreading through the soles and toes of your feet and finding an elegant length and lightness through your body to the crown of your head and we'll begin to move and breathe with some whole body movement now Surya Namaskar C variation Try to move with the rhythm of your deepest breath, no rush. Breathing in, arms sweep up and overhead. Slow breath out, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, your halfway lift. Exhale, fingertips down, lunge your right foot back into a low lunge, right knee sets down, keep the back toes tucked. When you're ready and you're steady, reach your arms up alongside your ears, staying for your out breath, letting your hips lightly lean forward. Come up a little more upright, reach up. As you breathe out, sweep your arms back and raise the right leg, right leg straight, torso forward. Breathing in, right knee to the floor, back to your low lunge, arms reach up and as you exhale we're twisting keep the left hand to the sky right hand over into the right lane gently revolve to your left both hands to the floor stepping up top edge of the mat bring your toes to touch halfway lift breathe in forward fold on your out breath 
Rise to stand on your in-breath, Urdhva Hastasan, your arms overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart centre. Second side, left side, arms overhead, breathe in, long breath. Exhale, empty your lungs, bend the knees, fold in. Ada Uttanasana, breathe in. Fingertips down, left foot lunging back, left knee to the floor. Take your time, keep the left toes tucked. Arms reach up alongside your ears. Stay for your out breath, let your hips lunge forward. Deep breath in, come up a little bit more upright. Exhale, arms sweep back, torso forward. Raise your left leg. And lifting the shoulder heads up away from the mat, keeping broad across the upper chest. And then just land lightly back in your low lunge. Left knee down, arms lift. And make your way into a twist. Right hand stays up, left hand down to the floor, gently turning, revolving to your right. Pause. On your out breath, hands to the floor, we'll take a vinyasa. Stepping back quietly, plank pose, breathe in. Take your knees, your chest and your chin, come down onto your belly. Spreading the fingers by your ribs, take a low arch through the spine, Bhujangasan. As you exhale, roll on the knees, return to your downward facing dog. Hips up and back. And just play with a little bend in your knees there if you're feeling tight. Float the hips nice and high toward the ceiling. And find a diagonal line from your tailbone all the way to the back of your skull, letting your head hang heavy. Three more deep breaths in and out. end of your exhale like bend in the knees look forward and go ahead step forward top edge of your man toes come to touch inhale Ardha Uttanasana breathing in exhale empty your lungs forward fold rise on your in breath sweep your arms overhead look up exhale hands to your heart center just pause Again, just spread through your feet, your toes, and find your equilibrium. And we'll do one more round, just like that, one movement, one breath. Smooth breath in, sweep the arms over here. Exhale, forward fold over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fingertips down, lunge your right leg back, low lunge. Arms reach up, breathe in. Arms sweep back, torso forward, right knee lifts, breathe out. Low lunge, knee to the floor, reach the arms, stretch up, open the chest and take your twist. Right hand down to the floor, revolve to your left. Left hand down. And stepping up, top edge of the mat, toes to touch. Deep breath in, draw your heart forward. Soft forward fold, hinging from the hips. Rise on your in-breath, rooting down through your feet. And hands rest to your heart centre as you breathe up. One more round, left side, arms over here, breathe in. Forward fold on your out-breath. Halfway lift, breathe in, nice feeling of a flat back. Fingertips down, left foot lunging back, left knee to the floor, low lunge. Reach your arms, breathe in, lift the front of the hips. Sweep the arms back, torso forward on your out breath. Low lunge, left knee sets down, reach the arms. Left hand to the floor and twist. Right hand stays up, revolving to your right. Hands to the floor of Vinyasa or take rest. You can easily step back to downward dog if you need to do less and calm the rhythm of your breath. 
otherwise moving high to low pusher taking an arch through the spine and returning to your downward facing dog and just pause here Finding that even balance here through all four corners of your body. Your fingers are spread, you're dropping anchors into your hands. Your toes are spread. Your heels are reaching for the floor. Your breath feels even and balanced in cadence. Take a deep breath in now, look forward. End of your exhale, light bend in the knees, step forward, top edge of your mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, looking forward. Forward fold on your out breath. Come to stand, breathing in, arms overhead. And exhale, hands to your heart centre. Next breath in, reach your arms overhead, take steeple mudra, all your fingers interlaced except for your index fingers. Stretch up nice and tall without puffing your ribs there, keeping an abdominal engagement. Just take a side stretch, easy here, over to your right side. Just notice the weight in your feet and just try and keep that level and balanced. Coming back to centre. And then take a sway over to your left side, lightly engaging through the left side waist. Feeling your breath move into the space you're creating on the right side. Coming back to centre as you breathe in, reach tall. Exhale, forward fold over your legs. Breathing in, halfway lift. Breathing out, hands down, a vinyasa, stepping back. Plank pose. Try and keep your gaze forward there. Bring the chest forward, lower, all the way to the floor. Legs engage. Feed your chest through your arms, Bhujangasan. Exhale, downward facing dog. And stepping the toes together at the back of your mat, raise your right leg up and back. As you breathe out, core lunge in the air, knee in toward your chest. You can hollow your belly here round the spine. Inhale, down dog splits, breathing in. Exhale, step forward for a runner's lunge. Right foot up in between your hands. Help it along if you need to. Find that long stride between the feet. And find your balance, your equilibrium. Feet hip width apart. And then just staying really low, reach your arms back here so you're hovering right above the top of your right thigh. Crown of the head reaching forward, fingertips reaching back. And here we'll just start to balance. So we're going to take our left arm forward, keep the right arm back. And then turn your gaze to your right. And then we're just going to swim the arms, left arm back, right arm forward. Take your gaze steady and slow over to the left. Push down through your feet so you feel really steady in the lower half of your body and keep swimming the arms, turning your head, challenging your balance. And balance is always a dynamic process, it's never static so you're always having to adjust, readjust. One more each side. And then we're going to come up into a high lunge now. Raise your torso. Keep pressing into your feet evenly. And we're not here for long. We've got a little bit of heat in the legs now. We're going to catch our balance. Balancing on your right foot. Bring your left knee in toward your chest and just float your arms down here. Lower centre of gravity. And then step down. Toes together. Chair pose. Motion the hips back. Bend the knees. Reach the arms. And then go ahead, press to stand, straightening out through your body, reach up tall, reset hands to your heart centre. Take a moment. Deep breath in and out.
second side arms overhead lacing all your fingers except for the index fingers take a side stretch this time to your left as you breathe in come back to center keep your breath long and deep over to your right side back to center perhaps sending the gaze up to the tip of your fingers exhale forward fold over your legs Ardha Uttanasana, breathe in, hands down, a vinyasa, stepping back, plank pose, chaturanga, low push up, back bend of your choice, perhaps upward dog now, or just stay with the low cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. bringing your toes together at the back of the mat this time raise your left leg up and back with your in breath core lunge in the air on your out breath round hollow the belly inhale down dog splits exhale left foot forward in between your hands runners lunge stay low here fingertips can stay on the floor as you find your balance i like to walk the left foot over into the left lane so you've got your feet about hip width apart once you feel steady, really press into your left heel and reach the arms back. Reach long through your torso. Then just start to swim the arms. Your right arm comes forward. Turn your gaze to the left. Swim your left arm forward, right arm back. Turning your gaze to the right. And then just stay with that sequence. So you have this whole body awareness. Finding your centre. Moving slow with your breath. One more each side. And making your way when you're ready, when you're steady, coming into a high lunge. Lifting the front of your hip points up so you really feel engaged through the abdominals. Breath is deep and wide into your ribs and lungs. Preparing to balance now. Keeping the weight in at your front heel. And you catch your right knee in toward your chest. Float the arms down. And then step down. Come into chair. Hips lean back and down. Arms reach. And then press to stand, coming tall, standing evenly, hands to your heart centre. Deep breath in. And slow breath out, reconnecting with your breath. On your next breath in, reach your arms over here, taking again that steeple mudra. As you breathe out, hinge over to your right side. So we're going to play with a little bit of balance. And here, you're going to try and get a little lighter on your right foot. Raise the right foot out to the right side any amount. So you've got a little bit of air underneath the right foot. Flexing the right toes. Challenging your balance. Come on back to centre. Place your right foot down. And then hinge over to your left side. So you've got a banana shape through your body and then just play. Raise the left foot, flex the toes. Start to shift it out to the left side. Not here for long. Staying patient, if you're wobbly, come back to centre. And make your way into a chair pose. Tall through your upper body, steady and low. From your hips down, firm belly, or take a twist, press your palms. And sit down nice and low, and just twist gently to your left. So you might like to take the right forearm in front of your knees, or your shins there, left hand to the small of your back, or stay in a reverse prayer twist. And just checking in with your balance through your body, maintaining that symmetry in the hips 
nice sign of that is just to keep the knees in line draw your left collarbone back in space keep breathing return to chair pose as you breathe in we're just here for a B press your palms and go ahead twist to your right and take any variation that feels comfortable and easeful for your twist deep breath in return to chair Utkatasana and exhale forward fold over your legs just pause here and go ahead separate your feet hip distance apart and take your peace fingers and thumbs take a big toe bind there catching a hold of your big toes and then you can bend your knees quite a lot here if that makes it uh, more accessible and then just take a halfway lift and focus on extending your spine and then as you breathe out, bend the knees even deeper, elbows wide, forward fold. And just allowing your spine to cascade down all the way down to the crown of your head. You're relaxing your jaw and your face. And then from here again, we're going to practice our balance Keep the bind with your fingers and just start to transfer your weight onto your right foot and you can keep a little bend in the knee there. And start to pick up the left foot, take the left foot out to the side. So you've got to curl your left toes around the big toe, resisting with your fingers. and then slowly place yourself back down keep the bind transferring your weight onto your left foot right leg lifts out to the side find a steady gaze point finding your equilibrium challenging your balance not here for long setting yourself back down take a halfway lift keep the bind forward fold on your out breath releasing your fingers staying with your toes together we're going to come down into a squat let the knees float out wide away from one another and come to sit on the back of your calves hands to your heart center and if this is uncomfortable for your knees here and they don't like deep flexion please just raise your seat you can come into a variation on chair pose if it suits your body better if you're feeling comfortable you can stay just upright here perhaps playing experimenting with closing your eyes if you'd like to come into kakasana take your hands forward spread your fingers and then settle the knees on your upper arms keep the gaze forward rock forward elbows over the wrists and taking one foot off at the time heels up toward the buttocks toes flexed in crow pose or kakasana with our bent elbow variation here you can step back or jump back through a vinyasa or simply take your time we'll meet you back in downward facing dog focusing on keeping that balanced breath moving easily I'm taking five to eight deep breaths here if you need to rest a little deeper come into child's pose let's prioritize breathing a smooth breath And taking your toes together here at the back of your mat raise your right leg up and back as you breathe in down dog splits core lunge in the air as you breathe out inhale down dog splits as you exhale stepping up Virabhadrasana 2 warrior 2 right foot in between the hands 
Land and ground your left foot, rise up, arms out to a T. And find your balance and centre here. So torso straight up and down. And then notice the shape of your spine. And just smooth out any troughs in your low back by sending the tailbone down. And lightly engaging through your abdominal core. Arms feel level, your breath sm feels smooth. Nice steady gaze. Now on your next breath out, we move both hands to the floor, come into a low lunge. Left knee down to the floor, reach the arms up alongside your ears. We're just here to transition. As you breathe out, fingertips underneath the shoulders, straightening out through your right leg for Ardha Hanuman, half monkey pose. And just enjoy the pause. Keep bringing awareness to the shape that you've made in your body, making any subtle adjustments to bring balance and symmetry, sense of ease. Roll forward onto your right foot now to set up for a pyramid pose. Both legs straighten. Left foot in the left lane, right foot in the right lane. Come up halfway as you breathe in. And a forward fold over your right leg as you breathe out. And steadying your feet, bringing an engagement to the legs, pressing down through the right big toe mound, inner heel. And if your fingers are comfortably on the floor here, Turn your fingers back to point toward the back edge of your mat. Hug your upper arms in toward your torso and perhaps play with balancing here. Raising your left foot, bending your knee and take your left knee to greet your right knee there. Folding in. Humble flamingo. Not here for long. Step back and we'll all meet up in chair pose. Stepping forward, top edge of the mat. Bend the knees, hips low, reach the torso higher, your arms toward the ceiling. And then just press into your feet, press to stand, come tall and straight. Hands to your heart centre. Deep breath in, arms float overhead, second side. Exhale and forward fold over the legs. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, stepping back, plank. Chaturanga, low push up, hover here. And back bend of your choice, either placing yourself down or smoothly gliding through your arms, upward dog, downward facing dog on your out breath. Toes together at the back of your mat, left leg rising as you breathe in. Take a core lunge in the air, just one here as you breathe out. Down dog splits, breathe in. Preparing for warrior two, left foot steps forward between your hands. Anchoring your right heel, rising up when you're ready. And just finding your alignment, your steadiness. Feeling an equal engagement in the lower half of your body, legs. And then a lightness and length in your upper body. Deep breath in. Exhale, windmill your hands to the floor, low lunge. Setting the right knee down now, reach the arms up alongside your ears. Breathe in deep. And then fingertips underneath the shoulders. Ardha Hanuman, half monkey pose. And straightening out through your left leg. Just flexing, curling your left toes back toward you, digging your heel into the mat. And just play with drawing the left hip, the left thigh bone back in space, finding that balance across your hips. And then rolling forward onto your left foot for pyramid pose. Set the left foot over in the left lane. Straightening both legs. Take a deep breath in. 
and then forward fold any amount over your straight left leg so you're just lightly turning your belly button over the midline of your left thigh press and plug down through your left big toe and inner heel and if you feel awkward here a little micro bend in the left knee try to aim to get the right leg super straight now if your fingertips are comfortably on the floor turn your fingertips back and then hug your upper arms in squeeze your torso so you've got a little bit of steadiness really plug the fingertips down and then play with taking the right foot up in the right knee take your right knee to greet your left knee humble flamingo folding in let the crown of your head drop not here for long step back pyramid and then step forward we'll all meet up in chair toes together bend the knees reach the arms and then enjoy the stretch press to stand hands to your heart center and taking three deep breaths feel free to close your eyes reconnect with your breath deep breath in arms overhead slow breath out forward fold just moving in time with your breath halfway lift look forward exhale here we're just going to lightly step back downward facing dog spread all your fingers reach heavy into the heels send your chest back toward your thighs And bringing your toes together here at the back of the mat raise your right leg up and back as you breathe in step your right foot forward in between your hands runner's lunge just pause here on your fingertips we're going to take the right foot walk it over toe heel it over to the left lane we're going to set up for a twist here we're going to slide the left knee to the pinky toe side of your right foot and come to sit for a twist Ardha Matsyandrasana an option here if it feels really awkward quite uncomfortable extend your left leg out straight for a more comfortable twist I'm going to add on and offer some options here and they're completely optional <laughs> so from here we'll just start with a simple twist we're going to take our right fingertips behind you and extend your left arm up toward the ceiling extend long through your spine keep all that length and then either hug your right knee or hinge your elbow to the outside of your right knee and just enjoy the pause the feeling of your spine spiraling from your belly all the way up through the middle and upper back Turning your gaze out over your right shoulder. And please feel free to stay in your twist if you'd like to experiment with coming into an arm balance here. Ekapada Kundinyasana. And I'm just going to offer uh, some options. So if you'd like to try that, we're going to take our hands to the over to the right side and placing your hands shoulder width apart, spreading all your fingers and keeping your lower body fairly compact here and bound. Start to lift the hips and send your chest forward and your gaze forward. Just playing with putting the weight into your hands now wedge your right elbow to your right hip your left elbow to your right knee keep the gaze forward and begin to shift your weight forward to balance your elbows over your wrists and experiment with lifting your feet either staying really compact there or if you're feeling comfortable extending your left leg back your right leg forward keep looking forward and we'll all release here if you're in the arm balance hug the legs back in toward each other and land lightly or we'll lean back 
into our hands recross the legs to reset for the opposite side right heel to your left buttocks and step the left leg over taking the whole sole of your left foot to the floor and here your right leg could be out straight if it feels more comfortable left fingertips behind you as you inhale reach your right arm up toward the ceiling and as you exhale revolve and twist And oftentimes your rotation in one direction will be more easeful. So just adjust your body in space accordingly without forcing your twist. Your arms and your seat are there for stability. Your breasts there to guide you and your twist so you're not expending too much effort. And here there's that option to take Ekapada Kundinyasana. Hands can come down over to the left side. And the elbow to your hip. Another elbow to your knee. And really important here is as you shift forward and you raise your feet that your elbows balance over your wrist. As we do in Chaturanga, it'll, you'll find your center of gravity. You can play with extending the legs or if it doesn't feel right, just stay nice and compact. Here for one more breath. And as you exhale, release. Come to sit. And go ahead, unravel your legs out in front of you. And cross your right shin in front of your left shin to come into an easy cross-legged seat. And we'll stretch out the arms. We'll take the arms out wide, coming into eagle arms. And take our left arm on top and our right arm under. Feel free to catch your shoulders or uh, wind the hands into prayer pose there. And then just taking that lovely stretch through your upper back, projecting your forearms forward and settling your gaze softly to where your elbows cross. Take three more smooth breaths in and out. Unwinding the arms, fingertips to the floor, recross your legs, left shin in front, right shin behind. And now taking your right arm on top for eagle arms, left arm under. Staying very upright through the spine, your breath even and balanced. Two more deep breaths. And release. Fingertips behind. And then come to sit on the very soft part of your buttocks. Off the sit bones, bring your feet together, knees bent. Preparing for boat. We'll take a little option here. Uh, option one is coming into a supported boat. So you can just take your hands behind the back of your knees, raise the legs, and concentrate on lifting tall through your spine. So you're working your abdominal muscles as well as the muscles either side of your spine here. So if you feel like you're going to slouch at any time, take this option. If you'd like to add on, take your peace fingers and thumbs around your big toes and you can stay in this bent leg variation. Again, just lifting from the lower back all the way to the back of your skull. Final option, two straight legs with your bind, balancing on the very small part of your buttocks. <laughs> Send the gaze up to your big toes. Kick up through your heels and take a deep breath in. Exhale, release. Coming down slow and making your way down onto your back to set up for bridge pose. Lay down in the middle of your mat, knees bent, feet to the floor, arms alongside your body. And just take a moment to land here aligning your spine into a straight line 
making sure you're comfortable through the low back spine and there's a little hollow there just keeping your hands by your side your feet hip width apart as you breathe in gently start to lift the hips so if you've got a little bit of a tender bag just keep vision of your knees there so you're not lifting up all the way another subtle adjustment to switch on the glutes and the hamstring muscles is to get the feeling you're trying to drag your heels back toward your shoulders you can either bind the hands underneath your buttocks interlacing all the fingers or for a little bit more room and space catch your fingers around the side edges of your mount so the shoulder blades can squeeze in toward each other a little closer and taking three more deep breaths gently releasing rocking off the shoulders melting down onto the mount from here happy baby picking up the feet turning the soles of your feet toward the ceiling separating the knees catch a hold either the back of your knees or the outer edges of your feet and just allow this shape to feel comfortable in your body there's no need to pull your feet down or exert any effort feel free to have the head lifted your shoulders lifted and perhaps just take a little rock side to side and then bringing the soles of your feet together catching a hold of your ankles your arms are thread on the inside of your knees and we're going to take three rock and rolls and we're going to come up into bound angle pose Baddha Konasana just giving yourself a little bit of momentum roll all the way up and take a wide diamond from your heels to your pelvis and you can interlace your fingers around your toes or just stay hanging onto your ankles take a deep breath in lift up nice and tall through the spine and as you exhale <clears throat> lightly tip forward try to maintain your best posture across your chest as you fold and that fold might be very very subtle if you are more flexible try to aim your belly button toward your toes so your chest keeps moving forward and you stay long in your upper body and then just slowly slowly peeling up two straight legs Paschimottanasana pressing the back of your legs into the mat flexing your toes sitting upright arms reach up alongside your ears and an exhale forward fold over the legs gently bowing in and smoothing the rhythm of your breath and letting go of your effort when you feel ready gently releasing and either coming into a comfortable cross-legged seat to spend a few minutes in seated meditation or take that time to rest back and come into Shavasana taking your arms alongside your body your palms face up letting your feet fall comfortably out to the side and then just take a sweep of your whole back body smooth out any wrinkles any asymmetries so you can rest in balance with ease closing your eyes relaxing the expression of your face And letting your shoulders melt 
your arms relax and feeling that release all the way down to the edge of your fingers and inviting that feeling of relaxation to move through your torso allow your heart center to soften your ribs just lightly moving with your breath your belly completely relaxed and feeling your low back spread and release toward the floor Feel the weight of your buttocks, your pelvis, soft and relaxed. And letting the larger muscles of your legs relax and melt over your bones. Feel the kneecaps, the back of your knees. And relax all the way down the legs to the edge of your toes. Noticing the end of each out breath. Just savouring this restful time. Pausing, lingering. And staying in this place of surrender. slowly, gently begin to wake your body and wiggling the toes and the fingers and emerging from rest breathing the length of your body waking your body up with your breath and if you are lying back, just bending the knees, taking your feet to the floor, and gently turning over onto your right side there. And make your eyes open and adjust to the light in your room. And notice how you feel here at the end of your practice. And then just slowly dragging yourself all the way back up to sit.
and I hope you've enjoyed practice today. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat. Namaste.